Hey everybody, Stratix here. Just wanted to show off a little build I started over on my Twitch channel and to advertise my Twitch channel a little bit. I'm on uh, Triet Mod Pack through the Technic Launcher right now, and uh, so I've got things like phase piping and uh, applied energistics and mechanism all going together here along with logistics pipes. And this is just the brains of my operation right now. So this is just for um, a default chest for logistics pipes. That's what all of this is for. This is simply just to be a giant logistics pipe default route. So there's lots more to come that I will be uh, replicating all of this, trying to refine it a little bit as well. Um, on the actual Triet server, and that's not a server, but it's the Triet mod pack uh, on my Twitch channel. And just to give you a little rundown, this, these are the phased transport pipes right here, these blue and white ones here. They won't connect directly to a chest, so you have to use a, a pipe in between. So I'm using gold pipe. Uh, these are crystal chests, which are just diamond, same as diamond chests, you can just see through. And uh, I'm trying to, I, like I said, I'm going to refine it. I'm trying to better um, organize these, how I'm going to have this all set up. But these phased transport pipes basically operate like an ender chest. And uh, so I could have a quarry hooked up to the other end of these. I can program these, set frequencies for each one of these, and then have corresponding ones at different quarries or um, at different machines to transfer back and forth. And this is uh, an ME si part of an ME system. These are storage buses from Applied Energistics. And, uh, so this is sort of just like a baby ME system. And it's actually using the diamond chests as the storage instead of using disks from Applied Energistics. I've got some Mechanism Universal Cable here, Mechanism uh, Energy Cube set up here. Um, the logistics pipes are attached to the bottom here. So I can have uh, automatic storage and retrieval. Here is the requester pipe, and I could even create a remote order to order this remotely from wherever I'm at. And if I attach um, possibly we'll use an ender chest for that. But if I attach an ender chest for that and then put an ender pouch in my inventory, and then I use a remote orderer, it'll order out of here and go right into the ender chest, which will then go into my pouch in my inventory. So I can access my items from anywhere. So like I said, though, this is just the very beginning. Um, also up here is a Tesla coil. Now it says this is resonant induction electrical, uh, and it might be, but everywhere I look online says this is part of mechanism. And actually I can use my mechanism configurator to uh, alter it and stuff like that. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's mechanism, I think. So that's uh, this little build going on here. This will allow me to have a giant brains of operation because... Uh, I need a big default route because I need lots of storage for a default chest. Uh, and that's all this is, and it's just a fun way of doing it. So, yeah, so if you want to see more of this uh, and other games that I play and other Minecraft mod packs, check out my Twitch channel. And uh, there I try to talk as much as I can with, with the chat room. And we'll be building a lot more to this. I'll be... I'll be taking this down, connecting it to a larger uh, logistics network that'll be automating all kinds of machinery and even tanks, uh, automating liquids and so forth. So, yeah, so if you want to come and see me replicate this and make a better version of this and continue past this to even more, uh, more craziness, uh, you can find all that on my Twitch channel. And don't forget to follow me and give me a sub if you like this video. I will be uploading more videos constantly to my YouTube channel. 
So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.